What's up guys? Welcome back to 704 Outdoors Project Precision. Today we're going to be here in Locust, North Carolina at a gun shop called RTB Guns with the owner Carrie Money. Thank you Carrie. Carrie's a very good friend of mine. Um, he, he, he always has his hands out and always helping me out in, in several various things such as this, letting us use his gun store to do another upgrade to Project Precision and film it just to present to y'all. So thank you very much, Carrie Money, for the opportunity of, of doing this in your store. We're also going to be introducing Mark Honeycutt, very well-known gunsmith in the area, but not just a gunsmith, a very successful long-distance shooter. He even totes around a couple national records in the 300-yard mark in the bench rest series. So thank you, Mark Honeycutt, for your help with this project. Uh, today, we're going to be looking into something that I see a lot of people have issues with. Uh, a lot of complaints in the RPR world, uh, and that is the handguard. Uh, before we start telling you what we're going to and, and what, we, what we're working with, let's look at the OEM handguard uh, and describe maybe a few problems that we've seen out of it, uh, problems that I've seen within the community with the handguards, and go from there. One of the first things I see a lot of people replacing on the Ruger Precision Rifle is the handguard. Um, we're running the Gen 1, Gen 2 updated to a little bit different style handguard. Uh, I'm not real familiar with, but the Gen 1 is a key mod system, 12 inch aluminum rail. Um, I've had a few issues with it. Mark, you hadn't had a lot of experience with the rail as far as shooting this no. gun at all or anything, mm -hmm. but you can notice some flaws right off the bat. I know the other day, me personally, I was shooting, checking zero uh, with my scope, and the bipod fell off. And it wasn't just the bipod fell off, the whole Picatinny rail actually pulled out of the, out of the key mod system of this rail, of this handguard. And uh, I'm gonna tell you what, I'm not real impressed at all with, <laughs> with that setup. Yeah. A lot of people, um, have been complaining about this. The generation ones, this is the handguard for a gen one. Gen two, a little bit different handguard. I can't speak directly about it. However, I've seen a lot of the same issues, but the handguard is actually not sitting sitting center with the barrel of the gun. Um, some are, some aren't. And what that directly goes to is the mounting of, the, of this system. Um, just a poor mounting design a lot of flex and give there and yes yeah, it's not the best design to mount this on here with correct yep yeah. and um as you can see we're going to show you this handguard it's actually sitting off centered as well Let's see where it's closer here that's by the way here it's off to one side there's something that a lot of people don't think of uh but in the hunting situation everything's about stealth quiet you want to be you know, as little noise as possible. Well, aluminum handguard versus carbon fiber. You clank that on a piece of metal. That hits your deer, your rail on your deer stand or anything of that nature. You can't take much of anything. You're getting a lot of noise off that handguard. That's true. Get a lot of noise. Mm -hmm. So this carbon fiber handguard, made of of fibers. I'm, I'd imagine it's got a lot of epoxy and fibers. Um, really, I'm, it should be a lot quieter. You know, n not like a ping sound or anything of that nature. Well, guys, now that we've looked at the OBM handguard and some of the issues that we've had or heard about, now it's time to look at this Hand Lancer Systems handguard and look at all the improvements that we look to make. Let's check it out. Is we're going to be installing the Lancer handguard by Lancer Systems. Carbon fiber handguard. Um, well, some of the benefits we're looking out of this, this is a 15 inch handguard. When we originally started with this gun, it was a 308. The 308s come with the 12 inch handguard. So we're getting an extra three inches out of this handguard, which is really gonna help with stability with the bipod. Stability, mirage. Mirage, um, this carbon fiber, you know, with the sun, hitting on the handguard and everything and uh, also covering more of the barrel hopefully we're looking to see some reduced mirage coming from in front of this scope um, 
Another big thing is the is the uh, nut that holds this handguard to the gun. Um, much more robust design. Looks like it's going to really hold it nice and secure. Shouldn't have any flex in this handguard at all. I mean, it looks like this thing right here could it's really a lot sturdier. Yeah, really could take a heck of a bipod load against it. You know, so. I can't wait to open this thing up and get my hands on it. Along with that, uh, Lancer Systems officer offers uh, Picatinny rail sections, especially for their hand guards. Um, they come in two inches and four inches. We went with a two inch. I know it's not much weight, but that's one of the things that we're looking out of, looking for in this build. That's why we went with a Lancer Systems carbon fiber hand guard. So we went with the two inch Picatinny rail just really for weight savings and uh, I don't think the four inches is really going to be necessary for what I'm doing with this build. No. Plenty of a... Uh, I'd, I'd be a plenty yeah. for a bipod and all that. Yeah. Well guys, we got the Lancer Systems handguard in our hands. We're ready to put it on. But hold up just a second. There's another part that we're going to be putting on Project Precision today. Check this out. And one of the big things a lot of people have questioned me about uh, when they knew that I was going to be doing the Lancer install on this gun. Uh, anytime you take an AR-15 of any sort uh, handguard and try to put it on this gun, you're going to experience a quarter inch to a half inch gap between the handguard and the receiver. And the reason for that is the design of the barrel nut. Yep. Um, the, armor's lock, the armor's wrench part of the nut actually hangs out and it prevents that handguard from seating all the way up against the receiver. Well, Patriot Valley Arms just released a new product. This is a uh, modified barrel nut, well, custom barrel nut. Uh, basically, this threads to your barrel, the inside threads. You set your head space off that. And then you got outer threads right here. Now. With the Lancer Systems, it comes with a, another sort of an armor's nut, especially for this handguard, that will thread onto the outside of the barrel nut. So, what this is going to allow the handguards to do, because this part of the hex uh, wrench part of this nut is smaller than the thread, that's going to allow the handguard to overseat. Override it. Override it and sit flush up against the receiver, giving you a good, nice looking profile to the to the handguard to the receiver. Um, so that's one of the uh, upgrades that we're doing as well, Patriot Valley Arms. Now we're going to get into more detail about uh, this nut when we go to install it here shortly. Well, guys, as you can tell, we're real anxious to get this Lancer Systems handguard installed on Project Precision. I'm going to run through the list of what improvements we look to make real fast again. Uh, basically, we're looking to reduce weight uh, with increased stability. In the video, I uh, stated that the OEM handguard is 12 inches and the Lancer Systems handguard is 15 inches. Well, that's incorrect. Uh, the Lancer Systems handguard is actually 16 and a quarter inches. Uh, so that's really going to increase our stability by four and a quarter inches allowing us to get our bipod out further towards the end of the barrel or set up on barricades out further towards the end of the barrel. That's really going to help us increase our stability a lot. A lot more room to play with. Um, even though we're going an extra four and a quarter inches, we're still looking to reduce weight. So that's something that we're going to have to find out. Some other things we're looking at is we want to increase the strength and reduce the flex uh, in, the, in the system. Basically, we don't want this handguard flexing around the barrel at all. Um, the strength really is going to come from the adapter nut, or basically how the handguard mounts to the rifle. Um, this adapter nut looks really nice, strong, um, and really it's going to depend on how tight the fit is, the tolerances, from the handguard to the adapter nut. Uh, that's really going to tell how this system's going to perform as far as the strength goes. Um, reduced mirage, that's a big one. Uh, the extra four and a quarter inches, the more barrel covered, 
the more mirage that is reduced, basically. Basically, your barrel's going to be the one thing that's really putting off heat. And, and if you can cover the barrel uh, more, uh, you're going to reduce the mirage. Um, carbon fiber, very, very good at transferring heat, but not just transferring, also dissipating heat. So it's actually going to pull the heat from the barrel and dissipate it off fast as well from the handguard. Some other things are the looks. I don't know of a single person that doesn't like the look of carbon fiber. Uh, just a, it's a beautiful material. Lancer system lays it in real good. It's kind of like a diagonal hatch to the like the grains of the carbon fiber. It actually runs diagonal all the way around. Looks really good. Really good appeal to the to this rifle. And of course the noise, uh, aluminum, it's loud. If you bang it on a stand, it pings. Uh, I mean, I've got several rifles and, and, and ARs that have aluminum handguards, and they work, you know, but this is one less thing that you have to worry about so much, you know. Uh, me as a hunter, noise is very important. Carbon fiber, really more of a, a uh, lower pitch, lower decibel uh, type noise, you know. So, these are some of the improvements that we're looking for out of the Lancer Systems handguard. And then, of course, we got the Patriot Valley Arms barrel nut, uh, basically allowing any AR-15 handguard to mount to the Ruger Precision receiver properly. And when I say properly, that means flush. Uh, everything's sitting nice and flush. Some of the things to be looking for in the future uh, of the Lancer Systems and Patriot Valley, Valley Arms reviews within Project Precision. Basically it's going to lay out like this. The first the first chapter is uh, the OEM handguard, the problems that we see, issues, improvements that are needed, and, then, and we talked about uh, the Lancer Systems handguard so forth. And then next we're going to be going into how to install this, and then we're going to be going to shooting, testing, and a summary of how well this handguard performed, uh, how well it met our expectations, and uh, you know, so forth. Uh, so far, man, uh, I think uh, I think it's going to work out pretty good. Um, basically, if you have never heard of Lancer Systems, go to their website, check them out. Uh, they they offer several different products. They they manufacture magazines. Uh, they they do receivers, handguards all other kinds of accessories, even some brakes. Patriot Valley Arms, they've got everything that you can think of. Uh, really big time PRS guy there, Josh Coons. Uh, he's the owner, successful PRS shooter. Very, very knowledgeable and takes a lot of pride in his services as well. Uh, so check out these guys. Uh, their information should be posted below. and. Uh, and also, if you got a couple extra minutes, stay on our YouTube channel. Uh, go and search for uh, the NRA Annual Meetings 2017, where we checked out Lancer Systems booth. And uh, we briefly hit their product line and what to expect. So, guys, I'll see you uh, at the shop when we go to install this baby. Check it out. Thank you.